we're building this uh, arbaloo and it's made out of willow that we've harvested locally and uh, at the moment I've made a structure with vertical uh, sides and the children are then going to weave around horizontally to fill in the gaps. Well I'm going to be doing various different collection tasks to start with to help Ian out with making his loo. So to start with we're going to go down to the woods to collect some dry leaves which the people would throw in to help the composting process. We're get collecting leaves for the power loo. It's to help digest the waste. Then we'll be going to get some ash from the various fires around the site. We did a treasure hunt around the farm. We were looking for buckets of ash for the power loo. The donkey and the cart helped us carry the buckets. Me and my group just collected this ash to stop the power loo from smelling. Slide it down. Slide, slide, both hands. Good. Keep going, keep going. In this session, we've been weaving the the, um, the sticks to go through to make the rest of the power loom. I'm going to make a wall out of this willow because so people can have their privacy when they're on the loo. We are making a ring so that people can sit down in the power loom. Bricks are used to construct a strong ring around the pit and that stops the cover which the people would be sitting on um, sort of collapsing and sort of falling into what's below which obviously wouldn't be a very nice experience. And then the next stage is build the uh, conical top, the roof, so that when people are in there they don't get uh, rained on or even sunburned depending on where we are of course. And we're building a shelter. And we're weaving yeah, like stick and twigs in and out. How about we put that there? It's really private. It's cheap and easy to make. It uses local materials and it's sustainable. It's hygienic. It creates fertilizer. But isn't it fantastic to have children here construct this kind of a loo, which is equal to the African uh, toilet type. And again, uh, you see, they came together to construct this thing. And of course in Africa it will be like communities coming together to construct a loo like this one. It will last for quite a long time, two or three years maybe, the structure, even though the, the hole itself would get filled in. Uh, but what you do, you lift the structure away and put it over a new hole, and uh, the original hole, which is then full, you plant a tree in it. And the tree grows in fantastic fertiliser.